Yo, everybody, it's Master127. Welcome back to another Yu Gi Oh! deck profile. Today, what we have for you is kind of a. Um, we're going to try this on, on a new approach here to kind of hopefully speed this up a little bit so I can do this a little bit faster so I don't have to use up so much of my phone battery so I don't have to use like big camera battery and have it edited and stuff like that. Um, so, this is a, uh, a top placing locals uh, dinosaur deck profile with a, uh, with a Fusion Destiny engine. Um, so, we'll kind of get right into it. Um, of course, two UCT, one Misk, three Overafter. Uh, two baby Sarasaurus. I would like to have it at three, but uh, most of the time I just end up with two anyway. So it, uh, you know, once it do you once, it's pretty good. One petite, um, one dinosaur pinker tops. Um, we also then have the two Arm uh, Amagador Archosaur, two Scrap Raptor, and the one Scrap Camera Scrap Camera for the combos. Giant Rex, and then Dograt to wrap up the dinosaurs. Uh, for the Destiny Hero engine, we have is one Dynatag, one Draw Hand, one Celestial, one Dasher, one Denier, one Plasma, and then three Fusion Destinies for the engine. I feel like with this, especially with like with having with Plasma, Plasma's just pretty good with the, the traps I have with them. Dyer's pretty good, Dasher you have to kind of do, and then Celestial's good. Draw Hand and Dynatag, because I still have the extra uh, Destiny Heroes in here, I wanted to make sure I had a little bit extra heavier of a package just in case if this had to come up, and it did. Um, just for like the extra like extenders basically on for the hand traps, uh, we have parallel X two parallel XCs, Dogmatic with Theo, the Iron Punch, and Tenya Adhara. Adhara definitely had to come back into the picture with this because he is a basically a free level one to go into Link Rebo for the parallel XCs. So that's where I kind of felt it was kind of necessary. Um, also parallel XCs, um, it's a very good rank four tool, and also Theo is also an extra uh, just level four on his own. Uh, the hand traps we have over here is just one driver, two gamma, one uh, one ash, and one Valor. Mainly, the reason why the hand traps are so low is because uh, the deck is pretty tight, and I do have the cross out. So this is why they're also kind of in here just for the most part. I couldn't completely count them because then it's just cross out. Uh, going on to then the spells is then of course uh, two fossil dig and two lost world. The reason why it's not uh, three is because I already have uh, Obi to basically search for everything else in the deck. Um, and then just by itself, you know, dinosaurs don't really do like a whole lot, mainly because you really do need misc to make sure that all your like play plays really do like pop off. And so with the fact that now destroy Phoenix enforcer allows me to then pop off like the babies by themselves on my turn, it makes that a lot easier than having to rely then on like Lost World because then it would make destroy Phoenix enforcer weaker. Um, two pills. Um, the back row hate is then cosmic and twin. Two Prize Prosperity. I'm so glad I picked up a, uh, a second copy of it. I'm very happy about that. Um, the power of one ofs basically is then Rygecki, Harvey's Father Duster, Monster Reborn, Called by the Grave, the cro one Crossout Designator, and Dark Hole. Um, Crossout Designator, I'm, I'm kind of testing to see how it is, but for the most part, I kind of like how it is at one currently. I might, I ideally, like I said, I want to be able to do at least two. I just don't know what else I would want to do for a second one, because, like, Called By is still really good, so going for a second crossout would be ideal, but I don't know. Um, and then, of course, the one DDR to search off of Roland. Uh, where is Roland? Where is Roland? Oh, I didn't go through the rest of the monsters. Ha ha ha, I thought I was skipping something. Okay, um, the rest of the monsters, my bad, my bad. Is uh, Danger Sushinoko, uh, Bigfoot, Roland, Chaos Hunter, and Nemesis Keystone, so you can do your nappies combos. I forgot to mention that. I guess I got so close to the Dragon and then I just skipped over those guys. My bad. Um, you know, the, the dangers, the two dangers especially, is because Bigfoot just by himself is just either a draw or he's a big, uh, beefy monster, and then Sushinoko just helps with, like, Link Fodder. Roland helps me search for the DDR, which also isn't just a way to bring back, um, uh, uh, miscellaneous when it gets banished, just so you can put him back in the grave that way. A lot easier, and then of course, you know, with Roland, it's the least searchable. And then Chaos Hunter is just so good just by itself against like Travagan and most of the other stuff. Also, also with 25 walking uh, beat stick. Uh, moving on to the traps now, finally. We have, uh, because of Burst of Destiny is, is now legal, uh, Break the Destiny. Break the Destiny is mainly just so you can skip the main phase one and also allows you to search for Deep Tactics. Deep Tactics, uh, if you guys saw my previous video, is basically a uh, smoke grenade for the archetype. And then, of course, your one infinite impairments to row aside with cross out designator. Going on then quickly to the extra. I don't really care too much for side because I really hate going into the side. Um, which is kind of annoying. Um, quickly go into it. We have then, of course, is one evil swarm Dolka, one evil swarm Lagia, one uh, number 60 uh, Dugaris, one 
Tornado Dragon, one Gallant Granite, to search for Nemesis Keystone. The Lynx, we have our Link Karibo, Secure Garna, standard. Uh, Underclock Taker, it's just, it's also a backup uh, generic uh, level two, or Link two. Um, I'm kind of still going back and forth on this and um, Penstag, but for the most part, Underclock is to be able to reduce like say um, a monster that they have really big like beef monster like either from like heroes or uh, Axis Kotaku to be able to reduce it, reduce it down is pretty freaking good and I like having that um, the Lambda I like having the Lambda because it still works very well with the, the Gamma package and it's also the highest generic uh, Link 2 so at 17 other if, if you didn't want to do Lambda if it's too expensive, which I don't see why it would be, because it's coming out, I think it's a gold rare in, like, El Dorado or something like that, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. If not, I'd see about maybe with Dagda and Scythe and Lance, uh, because that just might end up being better in itself and entirely. Uh, one Unicorn for the uh, Link 3 came up a lot today, and then, of course, going into the Link Force is Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess. Correct artwork. That's fine. Uh, only two Synchros, uh, Nap Beast, and Scrap Dragon. The reason, again, I, I, say, I feel like I've mentioned this before, um, the problem with the Scrap Engine is, for the most part, if you brick on Raptor and nothing else, going into just Wyvern by itself doesn't really do you a whole lot. So at least with Scrap Dragon, it's a 28 B stick, and if it's possible, like, if you can set up for next play, you can use Scrap Dragon to then pop one of the babies that you have to then combo further. So I feel like that's where, like, Scrap Dragon is, is just better. Not not better really let's be honest here but i like using dragon more than wyvern just for that reason and then of course the only two uh fusions that are absolutely necessary which is of course dusting hero dystopia to burn in time and of course the king himself destroy phoenix enforcer and that ladies and gentlemen is the deck profile thank you guys so much for watching uh be sure you guys let me know what you thought of this new format it's a little bit faster um than it does have to be so you know intensive where I have to go through card and then kind of explain everything so then that's just kind of everything's all set up so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video god bless goodbye